Hey, what's up guys? So tomorrow morning I'm heading down to Washington DC for the DC Auto Show. And before I go down there, I actually need to get the car washed because it's, it's really dirty. I haven't washed it all week. So I'm actually gonna use Optimum No Rinse Wash and Shine. And basically what that does is it allows you to uh, just you know take the stuff, put it in a bucket and put it on your wash mat and then you know gently go over the car itself gently go over it. Uh, you don't want to really dig into the paint too much because it will cause marring. Even if you do have the ceramic coating on there, it will actually scratch it. So you gotta be really careful with it still, but it actually creates like an ultra slick surface so that, you know, it just glides across it much easier. So here's what the actual bottle looks like. Um, I have used this in the past and it works really well. You know, if you don't have access to a hose and, or you don't want to hang outside, you know, with it being freezing cold out. But what I'll do is I'll actually post a link down below and it'll take you right to a place where you can actually purchase this stuff. It works real well and I definitely recommend it. Uh, basically all you gotta do is you put one ounce of this stuff in uh, every two gallons. So basically I have that you know, in this bucket here. So it's got two gallons of water and then an ounce of this stuff in there and it works really well. I highly recommend it. So I'll post a link down below for you guys to uh, check it out. So here's just a little before and after. So you can see the car is really dirty. I haven't washed it in a while. You see a lot of dust and I don't even know what the heck that is something other, but it's been neglected for the past week. So it really needs to be washed. And you can see it's got streaks all over it. So we'll go ahead and get that done. And I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done using this stuff. Um, it makes it shine a whole lot and it's actually really easy to use. And all you have to do with this stuff is, you know, you get your wash mitt nice and wet. Um, go ahead and wring it out. Bring it out pretty good. So there's a little, just a little bit of water dripping out of it. You don't want to have a whole lot you know, taking it across your paint. So then you just take this uh, wash mitt and just go over the surface real lightly. Don't really dig into the paint because it will cause scratches. And you'll see that it kind of beads up because I do have that ceramic coating on it. So it, it's a little bit different than what you're used to, you know, when you get water on it. So just take it across there real light. And obviously I'm using the uh, grit guard again. So all that dirt's gonna fall down to the bottom and get captured below that. So once you've done that, you just take a drying towel and just go over it lightly. And I'm actually using a uh, chemical guys, they call it as a woolly mammoth. And this towel is awesome. It soaks up so much water and it's a really big towel. And real soft, so you can see how big it is. But it soaks up water really well. So that's another thing I recommend. And what I can do is I'll actually put a link for this uh, down below too, to a place that you can actually purchase it and take a look at it. I highly recommend this. So now that I've showed you how easy it is to use, I'll go ahead and do the rest of the car and uh, I'll show you an after video. All right, so I'm all finished. This took me about 20 minutes to do the whole car. It's real easy, you know, it dries off real quick We're using that towel. But uh, as you can see, got it cleaned up real well. Nice and shiny. But again, I do have the uh, OptiCoat Pro Plus ceramic coating on it, so it does help out a lot. But you can see, you know, just using a little bit of that stuff, it's all nice and shiny and nice and clean. So again, I definitely recommend it. And uh, you know, check out the link down below if you'd like to pick up some. All right, so now we got the car all clean and we're all set to go down to the car show. So I'm gonna head out for the night and tomorrow morning we're gonna head straight down to DC. So I'll see you then.
All right, so I just got back from the DC Auto Show and it was awesome. I had a great time. I've been going for the past three years and every time it gets better. Uh, there's a ton of cars there. All of the manufacturers show up. It's nothing like the one that we have here in Baltimore. Uh, if you have a choice between the two of them, I would definitely recommend going down to DC. I know it's a little bit of a drive from Baltimore. You know, it's about an hour away, but it's totally worth it. It's so much better down there. They, you know, the selection of the cars is great. Um, and, and the manufacturers really bring out, you know, the, the nice cars in their lineups. Be sure to watch the very end of this video to catch some clips of the brand new Audi R8 Spider. It's gorgeous and I really think you guys are going to like it. Be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know which Audi you like the best in this video. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to reflect and never settle.